Hello everyone and welcome to yet another midweek motivation. I am so excited to be bringing this one to you because it is almost a new year. And I know some of you are so excited that it's about to be a new year. But this is what we're all thinking. This is at least what I'm perceiving we're all thinking. Yeah, it's about to be a new year and this is when we normally get excited about things we can do, things we want to do, New Year's resolution, things being different. And when 2020 is concerned, man, we want so much to be different. But this is what we're thinking, how? How are they gonna be different? I can't control what's going on. I can't control who's gonna say what, who's gonna do what, what the government's gonna do, what's gonna happen in the world, what's gonna happen in my church, what's gonna happen in schools. Right now, what, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to change anything? How am I supposed to get a new perspective? How am I supposed to get a new outlook? How am I supposed to restart if that's what the goal is? And I believe it should be to get a new start, a fresh start. That's why we are starting at Lifeline Church. We're starting a brand new sermon series starting in January, simply called New. Simply called New. And I wanna encourage you with this passage of scripture found in 2 Corinthians, chapter five. 2 Corinthians chapter five says this. Now in, in verse 16 it says, so we have stopped evaluating others from a human point of view. That's very important. I, I think this like really unfolds the whole passage for us. And it's, this is preceding a very famous passage you might already know about. We've stopped evaluating others from a human point of view. At one time, we thought of Christ from merely a human point of view. How differently we know him now. Verse 17 says this, and this is what you've probably heard. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone, the new life has begun. And I think the key for us, the motivation for us, the, the encouragement for us is found right here. We stopped evaluating others. We stopped evaluating things. We stopped evaluating based on a human point of view. You know, I heard C.S. Lewis say it like this. If you aim at heaven, if you think of things of heaven, if you go for heaven, you'll get the things of heaven and you'll also get some things of the world too because you aim for heaven and the further you shoot, the further you fall. But he said this, if you aim for earth, you'll get nothing. If we aim for heaven, we'll get heaven and a little bit of earth. But if we aim for the earth and the things of this world, then we'll get neither. What that means to me, what that is communicating, I believe from this passage in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, starting in verse 16, is that, man, we've got to set, we got to, we need to get ourselves a new perspective. And we need to stop evaluating things based on a human point of view and begin to experience the world, experience life, and take a look at our direction in life, take a look at our purpose in life, take a look at really all the things of life with Christ's point of view and aim for the things of heaven. Now what's encouraging to me is this, is that it doesn't say you have to be, you know, 10 years old in Christ. It doesn't say you have to be five years old in Christ. It doesn't say you have to be graduated Bible college. Come on somebody. It says just, just don't look at things in a human point of view. Look at the world through my lens and you're going to begin to see things in a brand new light. What that means for you is this, when, when the new year strikes, you re, all of us should really only have one resolution. I'm gonna seek God. I'm gonna seek after the things of Him. And yeah, I, I might get a few things of this world too. I might get you know, a different job or a, you know, a different a relationship might get better. If we aim for God, we'll get the things that He intends for us to have in this world. But if we aim for things of this world, if we aim for the new job, if we aim for the new relationship, if we aim for the new political blah, blah, whatever that is, we're not gonna get anything. We won't get what we want. We won't get the thing of this world and we certainly won't get the thing of heaven. But if we aim for heaven, if we take on Christ's point of view and stop evaluating things from a human point of view, but take on a Christian point of view, a, a, a biblical worldview, 
then we're gonna begin to experience life in a brand new way. And that's my prayer for you. That's my hope for you. That's my dream for you, is that you would do just this. I'll read it again. I read it three times, I know, but it's so important, it's so good if we could take it in. So we've stopped evaluating others from a human point of view. At one time, we thought of Christ even from a merely human point of view, how differently we now know Him. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life has gone. The new life has begun. That's my prayer for you when 2021 hits, no matter what happens. Come hell, high water, come good times, bad times, we will take on a Christ point of view, a godly point of view, and we'll begin to look at things with the light that Christ shines on them and what the Bible shines on them. And I, I can guarantee you this, God's gonna show up in the midst of that. He's gonna show up in your life. He's gonna help you with that in the, in the ways that you can't even see you doing it yourself. He will show up to help you. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you for every single person listening to this video today. And I ask that you would meet them there in that effort to be made new, to see things in a new light, to see things in a new, more, more positive, more real way, a spiritual way, that being more real than just an earthly point of view. God, we, we need your point of view. And we need your eyes to see this world especially as the day of your return draws more near. We're so grateful, so thankful, and I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, we love you, and we will see you again very soon. Hope to see you this Sunday at 10 a.m. at 500 Park Street here in Lodi, where we're starting this new sermon series called New. God bless, see you there. Got a little bit of my water heater clicking. No, that's my heater clicking right behind this. Right. All right. All right.